Tom is a first-time caller out of Japan. All the way from Japan. Tom, thank you for calling and thanks for holding. You're on the air. Yeah. Hi, Jesse. How you doing, Tom? Yeah, I'm good. It's What's... pretty amazing, right, that we're talking all the way from Japan and uh, America. I know. It's mind-blowing. What time is it there? It's like 1 a.m. That's amazing. Thank you for staying up so late, man. That's uh, okay. <laughs> I tried to call yesterday, but it was uh, too late, unfortunately, in your show. Yeah. Well, welcome today. I'm glad you're here. Mm. So, Jesse, I, I didn't actually know you before you uh, had your interview with uh, Destiny, the gamer guy that you had on. Oh, yes. Yeah, Amazing. So that's, that's where I'm, yeah, so that's where I'm coming from. And I... <laughs> And then it was really strange. I was on YouTube just watching some videos, and then I saw one of your videos again. I'd like for the like I'd never seen you before ever before, and then I see you on Destiny's uh, YouTube channel, and then again, again. So I was really surprised. Anyway, I I just wanted to. I was curious, really, yes. why what you think about gamers? Like, do you? I think you think they're uh, betas. Beta. Right? And, but what does? Uh huh. <laughs> So, uh, are you a, are what? you a gamer? Yeah. Are you a gamer? Yeah, I'm a gamer. How mm. old are you, Tom? Twenty seven. Amazing. Um, mm. Gamers, uh, games are for kids who don't have to provide. They don't have to go to work. You know, they don't. They're not. You know, but men, you have to realize that, or you should realize that men. Uh, has a higher position in life given to them by God. And if grown men past 18 are sitting around playing games all day, that is a big letdown to the women and children because the women absolutely have no other choice but to look up to the man. And if you are in a fallen state, whatever state you're in, that's what you will become because you're the light of the world and the salt of the earth. And if you notice, as men are becoming beta males, the women are making horrible decisions, doing bad things that are not good for the family, not good for the country, not good in the government, because they're imitating fallen men. They cannot help it. They're subject to you. So when you sit around, uh, do you have a wife and kids? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Thank God. But you you don't have time because you're playing games all day. <laughs> well, not every day. I might play like maybe like a few hours one night a week. Amazing. What happened to uh, you that as a 27-year-old man that you're into game playing? Well, it's kind of like it's just like socialized, so socializing kind of with my friends because I live in Japan, but I'm from Australia originally. So, for example, like... My brother and I will go online and play a game together, and we can talk like this at the same time. So it's kind of a social thing as well. Amazing. And so do you hope to be married with children one day? Yeah, yeah, definitely. But uh, for me, I probably will wait like maybe five or ten years. And why so long? Well, I'm, I'm getting a, an advanced degree here in Japan, so I have to wait. I, I want to like... Uh, I want to wait until I have a good job, a good income before I have a family. Amazing. I would recommend you get a job now, wait two or three jobs, and get away from the oh. game and stuff because you're going to become addicted to it, and it's hard to get away from it once you're addicted to it. And so if you mm -hmm. do get married, you're still going to be sitting around playing games, and your wife's going to hate you for it. You really think so? Even if it's only like one week, one hour a week or something? Yes. Really? Yeah. But you, what about, like, if I did some other hobby, like, you know, sports or something? No, go out and build a car or build a house or do oh. something productive that would bring um, enhancement to your family. Because these games are just set up in order to addict you and control you that they may make money. They want to make money. They're using this stuff to make money off you. And if your kids see you doing it, then uh, they're going to do it too, and then they'll become addicted to it. It's like a waste of time. Mm. What a, but, like, I don't know. I, I just, like, from my perspective, for example, like, it's really nice to 
even just play chess. I can play online chess with my brother and talk with him like I'm talking with you right now. Yes. Yeah. But so playing you think chess, that's bad still? playing chess uh, is a little different than playing games because when you play chess, you got to think. You got to, you're learning. But playing games, you're not learning anything. You're just sitting there like a robot playing games, right? Am I right about that? Mm, maybe. I guess there are some games which are very, like, mind-numbing. Maybe like, you know, Call of Duty or something. It's just right. really yeah. just uh, shooting everything. But right. Then, but I think there are other games which are more strategic, like chess or something. Yeah, play, if you got to, and I understand that, if you want to play a game with your brother once a week, mm. let it be chess or something, something serious that's going to help you to grow. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. And plus, yeah. chess is a boring game anyway until you learn it. And so through <laughs> the boring aspect of it, you're learning and growing and becoming. It's good to, because being bored is good. Oh, it's like a challenge. Okay. So it's good for you. Okay. Oh. Why? why? So what now? Sorry, why is it good to be boring at board? Because a couple of things. It makes you realize you're not as important as you think. It makes you feel like nothing. Mm -hmm. Because when you're busy, you're on an ego trip, and you believe you're important. But when you're bored, you see you're nothing, and that will cause you to give up the ego and allow God to, rule, to, to uh, take over your life. And being bored, it causes you to discover yourself within and your great talents start to come out. You find things to do that is very productive. Mm, okay. You're not, oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, you're not lost in your uh, ego as you are when you're busy all the time. Most people who are busy all the time cannot handle the truth about themselves. They can't handle being bored. But boredom is really good for you. Mm, yeah, yeah, I, I think so, yeah. It brings out like the many best. Many people, thing. like, mm, sorry. No, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, like, many people I know, like, my friends, they they can't stand, like, uh, at the elevator, <laughs> you know, just to wait for the elevator without looking at their phone, for example. Yes. You know? Yes. Yeah. Because they feel and, that they are nothing when reality catch up. When you're bored, reality catch up with you, and it says to you, you're not as important as you think you are. You're not, you're running away from the real you. It's really a perfect moment for you. Oh yeah, I, I think it's good. You can be you can re really think and dwell on things and yes. reflect on things. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm not uh, I'm an atheist, so I don't I don't really subscribe to all the things about God. But I think it's a good idea to be reflective, definitely. So what does atheist? Your... What does it mean to be an atheist? What does that mean? For me, I guess. Maybe a more technical term might be agnostic. So for me, I I don't uh, I just don't know, and I don't have enough. You don't know what? Like, uh, I don't know whether like a god exists or anything like that. Right. And what yeah. type of proof do you need? Well, I guess you could never prove it a hundred percent, right? You'd have to have some faith, but uh, and that's with everything as well. I think that you have to have some faith like in some medicine to work, it can only be proven like 99.9999% or something. So for me, to get to some like very high percentage of certainty that God would exist, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, suppose, I suppose I'd know it when I see it. So you don't know what type of proof you would need in order to believe there is a God? I mean, I suppose like, if someone like like if you said to me that you are God or something and then you could somehow prove it or you could say, I don't know, that you believe in God and then you I don't know, so it'd have to be something like supernatural, right? Some kind of almost magic thing. It would have to be something magic like magic? Yeah. Uh, well like in a supernatural, you know, thing. Yeah. A something that I couldn't explain by any natural kind of uh causes yeah what caused you to breathe who caused you to breathe like right now uh-huh to have breath in your body how did you get that uh i like contracted my muscles to breathe you did what 
I like contracted the muscles in my chest, Where and did then you, that created a pressure difference. Th- th- that's what caused you to breathe. Who breathed? Yeah. Who breathed life into you? Mm, myself, my body. How did you breathe life into your own body? Well, my body did it. So, and where did your body get it from? Like it just was this way when I was born. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'm not. Sh- I'm, I think you're trying to say like maybe when I was born that like I wouldn't have breathed unless God uh, did some supernatural act or something. Or why do you feel? You why do you feel sad at times, lonely and lost? I I don't necessarily feel that way right now, but uh, at times when you feel every- that way, what caused you to feel? Like something is missing in your life. Mm. Well, I mean, that's a very personal question. I (laughs) I suppose, yeah, I mean, I suppose like, for example, right? Like, so I'm I'm living overseas away from my family. Sometimes that can be, make me feel sad. And feel like something is lost within you or missing within Mm. you. Your family, when you're away from your family, you feel like something is missing Mm. within you. Hmm. I'm not sure. I think I definitely, like, there's, like, yeah, there is, I suppose, like, a missing element. But, like, to feel that, like, I can talk with my brother, for example, or, you know, have a, like, on Sunday, I'm going to call my family and we're going to chat for probably a few hours. It's going to be really nice. Amazing. This is, uh, so, uh, about the game, because I got to run, because the game and the games, uh, what do you think about my response about the gaming? I think, I think I I agree that like there are some people that, that spend way too much time playing games and it's very wasteful of their time. Especially adult um, men. Some adult men, yeah. yeah. But I think that if you do it, even if you're kind of like playing like some like really boring game like Call of Duty or something that doesn't require you to think so much, yes, it's uh it can still I think be okay if it's like in moderation to socialize because it's kind of like playing a sport or something. It might not be the best thing in my opinion, but uh, it's like, it's better than playing more of it or something. Amazing. Other things. Mm. But when you do All sports, right. you're exercising mm. with sport. You're getting something from that, but you're not getting mm, anything true. from those games. Mm, well, for me, I'm getting a little socialization with my, family back in the Well, I understand about, you know, the chess plan, that makes sense. Or maybe you communicate with your family, but to just sit around and play games as an adult male, that is not a pretty sight. It's not a pretty picture. Okay. That makes sense? Well, yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. Yep. Tom, will you call me again? Great call. Yeah, all right. Nice to talk with you, Jesse. Would you sit around and watch movies all day? Uh, Probably not alone, no. <laughs> but games are the same thing. Well, not with my friends, right? Not if I'm socializing. That's would, how I think about it anyway. Would you sit around watching movies all day with your friends? Maybe, but not very frequently. <laughs> Pro- probably not all day, right? All right. You have to get outside. Great call, Tom. Call me again, buddy. All, All right. the way from Japan. Sure. All right. When See I come you. to Japan, I want to meet you and shake uh, your hand. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you're welcome to. It's I live in Okinawa. It's the most southern part of Japan. I mean, There's actually uh, a lot of U.S. U.S. forces in Okinawa. Are white people treated well in Japan? Mm, maybe not sometimes, actually. Really? Um, and I think because the Japanese, you know, culture is quite uh, insular, you know, like uh, they were cut off from the rest of the world for a long time. Uh-huh. And so sometimes they have some bad misconceptions about uh, white people or just foreign people generally. Really? Yeah, are they sometimes. treated Are they treated worse or better than they are in the United States, in Japan? White, white people? Yes. Oh, um, I mean, I think probably the standard of people treating each other like is much better in Japan. But I haven't been to the United States, so I can't I can't know for sure. 
Are white but, people like treat, I could, go ahead? Oh, but like in Australia, I could compare and I'd say that like as a white person, I'm probably treated much better overall in Japan than in Australia. Really? But, but then I think if I was Japanese, I would be treated even better if I was in in Japan. What is it? Last question. What is it like mm. like to be a white man and to allow these people of color? into your country, and once they get in, they hate you. What does that feel like? They falsely accuse you? you? Mm, I think you mean in Australia, yeah? Yes, uh uh-huh, yes. Uh, I think, like, it feels a bit bad, but I understand that, like, there are some people who are racist or, like, mean to them, and they want to blame other people that look like the people that were mean to them, and those people might have looked like me, so I can understand why they feel that way, but it's not really, really fair. I would never understand that if I were you, because the more you understand it, the more you allow them to get away with it without speaking up, and they only get worse. They have no reason to be treating white people in that manner, nowhere. I, I think it's not right to, to yeah, retaliate with violence or anger if, if someone is treating you that way, but at least for me, I feel like if I can empathize with how they're feeling, then maybe I can help to make them understand that it's not the correct way to feel or act. Are you afraid to speak up as a white man? Are you afraid to disagree with the people of color? Mm, no, but I, I, I think it's, if you <laughs> want to be effective politically, you have to be a bit careful, like, at least in my experience, sometimes you say something and then people will get very upset very quickly without listening to what you really said. Which is more important, to be a man of good or to be quiet and not speak out just for political reasons? Which is better for a human being? Mm, uh, maybe the first one. To speak up and be honest? I think so, yeah. Oh, okay. Right on. Great call, man. All right. Nice to talk with you, Jesse, and come and visit me in Okinawa. I will. They call me Tom, too. And the black people do. Really? Yeah, Uncle Tom. Oh, why? Because <laughs> black people hate the truth. They hate white people, and they hate any black that is not a part of their gang. Oh. Any black okay. person that right. don't hate white people and love what's right and love their country... They become an yeah. Uncle Tom to black people in America because most black people hate white folks. Oh, okay. Isn't that amazing? Right. It sure sounds amazing. <laughs> but Uncle Tom may, means something special in America. Like, not not just, it doesn't mean like any person who's an uncle. It means something <laughs> different. It means good in reality, but because black people don't read, uh, they don't know. They haven't found that out okay. yet. All right. Yeah. I see. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Okay. Bye, Jesse. Bye, buddy. Call me again. Okay. Bye. Amazing. Jamie is a first-time caller out of Texas. Jamie, thank you for calling and thank you for holding. Get it off your chest. Hey. Uh, yeah, one of your previous callers uh, was talking about that Australian dude that lives in Japan playing video games and whatnot. Right. So, like... Video games are, are bad in your opinion, or they um, they're not. I don't I don't think of them as being good or bad. I just think adult men should not be sitting around playing video games because of your role, your purpose in life is to be the light of the world and the salt of the earth, and no uh, uh, wife or children want to see their father sitting around all day playing a video game like some immature kid. So, like, video games, they haven't existed for a long time, right? They've only been around, like, since, like, the 80s. Home consoles came out around, like, the late 80s, 90s. Uh, how do you feel about people, like, watching television or playing, or watching sports, maybe? That's a like, good, how do you feel about that? good point, too. I think a little bit, everything in moderation, right? Uh, a little bit yeah. of watching sports or a little watching TV is fine, but you shouldn't spend your time sitting around watching TV either because TV is dumbing you down just as marijuana or sex before marriage or 
games that you sit around and play. And I don't think people know the effect that these things have on their mind. And if they did, and the people who are building these things and creating these things, they're only doing it to make money. And they're doing it to seduce you to make money off you. They're not creating these things to be helpful to you. It's to make money. And so I don't blame them because they are entrepreneurs. They're trying to make money. But you still have to be responsible and do things in moderation. So how much uh, moderation in terms of video games do you think is acceptable? Um, I don't know. Uh, I think the individual has to uh, discern that for themselves because, you know, it's all depend on how you're functioning in life, the example that you're setting. And so you have to be aware enough to discern the amount of time you should put in video. Uh, do you, uh, you play video games? Yeah, I do. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 31. Amazing. Are you married with with kids? No, I'm not. I'm too busy. Too busy playing video games? Uh, too busy with my career, man. I'm making that money. <laughs> I don't have time for, like, people to be telling me to do things like I'm good with that. You know what I mean? So you've never been married and no kids? Right, yeah. Like, I've got a path that I want for my life, but yeah. I'm following that. And... Uh, that's going to be later down the line. Right now isn't a good time for me. Do you still live at home with your parents? No. You live with your mother? No, I I don't live with either of my parents. You have your own place? I sure do. And how much time per day do you put in playing video games? How many hours? Uh, On average, um, being the busy guy that I am, I wish it was more. Maybe... Um, an hour a day. Oh, that's not bad. It doesn't seem bad. Oh, okay. Uh, an hour a day doesn't seem bad, especially if you're taking care of life, if you're out there living your life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because okay. you, could, you could be seduced by video games. You don't want to be seduced by the world. You want to be of it, but I mean in it, but not of it. I see. So, yeah. like, when you say things like uh, video games are for betas, what you're saying is, like, people addicted to video games have a problem, just like pretty much anything else. You can be addicted yes. to gambling. You can be addicted to sports. You can be addicted to anything. It's just, like, video games are one of those things. Absolutely, 100%. Okay. Because, like, uh, that Destiny, you had Destiny on? Destiny? The, uh, the Steven guy? I forgot his last name. Oh, was Destiny the little weak guy? Yeah. Oh, yes. The little weasel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy. Like, that guy, uh, he professionally plays, like, he makes money off of playing video games. Uh-huh. So, like, his isn't an addiction, it's his, it's his job, right? Right. Like, he's making a lot more money than most people will make, like, working a nine-to-five just by playing video games. Well, if it's his job, his way of earning a living, that's a different story. But if you're just going home and sitting around after work or before work or no work at all and just play a video game as a, a man, you're a beta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I think I, mostly you, what it is is like... Uh, you're the first mm-hmm. one that told me that he... Uh, uh, and why does he have a name Destiny? That's a woman's name. I keep thinking woman every time I hear that name. I uh, don't... Yeah, I've never, I've never heard the name like I've never heard that as a real name. You know what I mean? Oh, he so just. So I think that's like a regional thing. So why did he pick out a woman's name for a, a regional thing? I, I don't think like uh, like so you know like screen names right online you can choose like your email address like say my name is like Mister Pickles at gmail dot com or something like that right? Right. But you wouldn't pick so out you that, wouldn't that, pick what, out that's what that is to him like his name. But why did that? he pick out a woman's name? Though? You wouldn't pick out. Lizzie at gmail dot com. You would pick out a manly name, right? Or would you pick out a woman's name? So, like, I don't. How about you? Would you pick name? out? Would you pick out a woman's name or a man, male's name? Uh, for a screen name, I don't think I would use like a proper noun. 
uh, I would probably do something like building inspector or something like that. Yeah. You know, com. Right. Would you pick but, out like, a in, woman's in name? Now? Destiny, he means like. The, you didn't answer my question. Would you pick out a woman's name? Uh, I, I don't have a problem with it. You like, would pick out a woman's I, name? Would you pick out a woman's name and use it? So, like, <laughs> my name is. No, no, I'm Jamie, asking you. Right? Like, no, 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 you're not answering my question. I'm asking you, would you pick out a woman's name as a male? Uh, no. Why not? I don't think I would pick a man or a woman. No, name. why would you pick a woman's name as a male? Uh, so Jamie is a woman's name? That's no, no, no. Name. I'm asking you about destiny. Why wouldn't you pick a woman's name you, uh, rather than picking a, a male's name? I mean, a different name. You said no, you would not pick, use a woman's name. Why not? Uh, I don't like. Uh, I'm trying to like explain this. No, why uh, would you can just, just tell me why you said no? You would not choose a woman's name as a male. You would not choose a woman name. Why would you choose one? Because I wouldn't choose anyone's name. No, no, no. Why wouldn't you choose a woman's name? You running? Um, I wouldn't choose a woman's name because a woman is a person, and I wouldn't choose a person's name. Uh, uh, it has nothing to do with her being a female. No, I wouldn't choose a man or a woman's name. Oh, I see. Well, I appreciate it, Jamie. Thank you so much, man. Yes, sir. So. Destiny wasn't thinking that his he was picking a woman's name. What were you thinking? He was thinking that's a cool... Uh, Have you ever heard of <laughs> Destiny Child? He was nine or something. He was, yeah, he was nine. <laughs> and your Destiny is in the name of your organization. No. It's like a cool Destiny concept. Destiny means distant, right? Or something? No, Destiny means Meet what, what, what's coming or something. What's no, but he called you? himself Destiny. That sounds like a lady. No, but it's a screen name meant as part of like his... Like your destiny is to become uh, a great fighter or something like that. Oh, that's he, why he picked that name. He didn't think Jeez. of it as a woman's name. Uh huh. But he refused to defend himself because he wouldn't answer real questions right. honestly. Right. And then this guy, I don't. He was saying he he wouldn't pick a person's name, but for some reason he didn't care with, <laughs> with a woman's name. <laughs> So I was. So there's my defense of destiny. And what do you say about destiny? A man calls himself destiny. Oh come on! He didn't mean it like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Only black people think that's a woman's name. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, maybe there's a couple of whites who call themselves destiny. Have too, you ever heard of destiny child? That's a black name. That's a black name. Yeah, destiny's child. That's a black group. I know, but does it mean woman group? It's a black woman's group. Right. But he's white. He doesn't know that culture. Isn't that true, Joel? It, no, it's a black. Joel, 30% it's a black white. Name. Yeah, it's normally, it's normally, Destiny is normally used for uh, women now. But he Thank said you. he found it when he was nine. <laughs> he wasn't thinking all woman type thing. And Jamie was trying to say, well, my name is Jamie. So it's not that I wouldn't is Jamie a woman's name? Jamie. Jamie can be used for women. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I never met a Jamie woman. I knew I did. Uh, Waves of Gray uh, was is black and white, right? Mm -hmm. And the white guy name is Jamie. Yeah. But so I never met heard of a Jamie woman. I've mostly known female Jamies, but then I knew some male Jamies. So y'all like a man that called Jamie? They're okay, I mean, not Jamie, but friend. Destiny. I mean, to me, it's indifferent because I'm not thinking woman. I'm thinking that he was thinking that it's a cool concept to be. Oh, I see. I'll call his screen name. And that's how you see it too, Joel? Oh, if he came up to me and said, "My name is Destiny," <laughs> then I would understand your point. <laughs> but for a screen name, it's 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 not that. Okay. Well, I rest my case. And the icon on his on his YouTube channel and stream whatever it is, Twitch, it's like a cool looking futuristic looking D. It's not a girly looking oh, okay. picture. My my bad. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. I just had to straighten you out on that. I'm straight. <laughs> and I'm out. My bad. <laughs> All right. Now, da Daniel said destiny is like the so called future. 
Right. Oh, okay. Which doesn't exist. 